Turing created this test, the Turing test in 1950, uh, and we haven't managed to pass it yet. But in 1999, when I wrote The Age of Spiritual Machines, uh, I predicted that we would pass the Turing test by 2029, so in 30 years. And Stanford was so alarmed at this, they created a worldwide conference and people came from all over the world, AI experts. And we did the first poll and people felt that yes, we would pass the Turing test, which would mean that a computer could do everything that a human could do uh, by, but they said it would take a hundred years. So, so the AI experts were saying a hundred years, I was saying 30 years. There's been so much progress in AI recently a year ago, they were saying 2042. I was still saying 2029. Three months ago, they were saying 2030. So basically, they agree. <laughs> so that's going to happen by the end of this decade. Uh, and AI experts now agree with me on this. And when we get to the 2030s, we will amplify our own brain by connecting to it. But the computer already understands everything that a human can do. And actually, it goes way beyond it. So, I mean, to pass a Turing test, it would actually have to dumb itself down because if it showed its capability that goes way beyond what a human can do, uh, people wouldn't would know it's a machine. Everything that computers have learned, like take Go, for example, it goes way past what a human can do. So Lee Sadal, who's the best human at Go in the world, said he's not going to play Go anymore because... Machines are so much better than him. There's, there's really no point in doing it. 